Hello everybody, in this video I will tell you 10 benefits of having permanent residency of Australia. So if you want to know, stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on the immigration process of both the countries. I regularly upload videos now almost every day. So if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so the first point, the first benefit, right to live, study or work in Australia. So as a permanent resident, you are entitled to live, study or work in Australia indefinitely. There's no time limit. Initially, the permanent visa is given for five years and has to be applied again just before it expires. You can work for any employer in any occupation except the public sector and the armed forces, which is there for the citizens of Australia. Now, so many people ask this question that if you're going for one occupation, for one skilled occupation, can you work only for that particular occupation? No. You can work for any occupation. This applies for Australia and Canada. So you can work for any occupation after you get the PR. You can also go for your studies straight away. All right. So the second point. This might be a surprise for some people. You can live, study and work in New Zealand. Yes, the beautiful country next to Australia. With the Australian PR, you can visit study and work in New Zealand indefinitely. You would not need to apply for a visa before traveling and can be granted a New Zealand resident visa when you arrive. Kind of an on arrival visa. You can only apply for this visa when you arrive in New Zealand. You cannot apply for it before you travel. So you get the visa probably at the airport. If you leave New Zealand, your resident visa will expire. However, you can apply for a variation of travel conditions to allow your travel without affecting your New Zealand resident status. Okay, now the third point. Government subsidies to tuition fee for higher studies. So, you can see this snapshot over here. This I've taken from one of the Australian colleges. You can check out, just like the Australian citizens, permanent residents are the domestic students. And unlike international students, Government of Australia gives subsidies to its domestic students. You can check out this, uh, this snapshot over here. The tuition fee for the permanent residents and the citizens is almost half of the international students. So obviously, if you want to study, then uh, after getting your PR, it would be much, much cheaper. And this is not the case with every college. I mean, it differs from one college, from one university to the other, but it's definitely subsidized for the citizens and the permanent residents. Okay, free healthcare services. A big bonus. This is the reason why many people actually immigrate to Canada and Australia. So... The government-run Medicare health insurance schemes privilege will be available to the permanent residents. And though this, uh, you can, through this, you can obtain free of cost treatment at government hospitals and funded medicines as well. So the treatment would be free of cost. However, you have to pay some amount for the medicines, but that would also be subsidized. Right, the next point. Free education for children. Now, each state government manages the school system within their state. Each state has both public and private schools. Now, public schools are funded by the government and education until 12th grade is free or at marginal fee. It's important to notice here that, you know, Around 60% of the Australian uh, children actually study in the public schools, but there are 40% who, which actually study in the uh, private schools as well. So it's a big number. 
so they actually pay for their studies but it depends on uh, you know from one person to the other okay the freedom to travel something really nice as an Australian permanent resident you'll have the freedom to travel in and out of Australia for five years there's no limit you can travel in and out as many times as you want if your visa expires you'll be eligible to stay in the country but you'll not be able to leave Australia without a resident return visa right so uh, this is a good news that you, know, you don't have to worry about traveling in and out of Australia you can travel as many times as you want okay social security benefits Permanent residents must reside in Australia with the PR visa for two years in order to become eligible for social security benefits. Now, what are these benefits actually? You'd be given, you know, the sickness allowances, disability support allowances, unemployment allowance and things like that. So, you, however, you'd be eligible for it only after two years of staying in Australia after you get the PR. Okay. Now, the eighth point, so you can sponsor your family members for permanent residency, something pretty beautiful. Australian government allows its permanent residents to sponsor your spouse, your children and your parents as well. As a permanent resident, you can also sponsor your siblings and other elderly relatives as well under different visa subclasses and under certain conditions they're pretty specific so you know if you have specific questions about it you know i would need to do my research to answer your questions okay now the ninth point this might bigger you know bring a big smile to your face you can apply for australian citizenship and you can have that passport you can have the australian passport it's the one of the strongest in the world uh, so after spending four years in Australia as the permanent resident, you can apply for the Australian citizenship. The citizenship test needs to be passed for this process and a nominal fee of around 250 Australian dollars needs to be paid. Now this can be a citizenship test or an interview, it depends on the authorities. So you can get the Australian citizenship after four years of staying in Australia. As a permanent resident minded okay now Australian born children become Australian citizens this is the last point here but it's a very important one that if your you know if a child gets uh, born in Australia while you are the permanent resident in that case your the children whosoever you know actually uh, gets born in Australia would become the permanent residents who um, sorry would become the Australian citizens straight away by birth so I mean they would be having the Australian passport this would be one of the great advantage because they'll enjoy the maximum benefits in the field of education and healthcare obviously the citizens have uh, are being given the maximum benefits uh, they have the right to vote they are given easy loans so you know or other social benefits also your child can get from the birth itself so guys these were the 10 points that i wanted to tell you uh, 10 points that are the benefits of having permanent residency in australia thank you for watching this uh, video if you liked the video please click the like button if you disliked it click the dislike button and share it with your friends if you think it would be helpful for them please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed the channel yet because I keep uploading very useful videos almost every week. Thank you so much for watching.